our next step is to power this entire thing and we've got our little uh, UBEC back here and now I can actually figure which side it needs to go now that I have the receiver mounted so it is going to go on this side now I'm going to plug that in into the, the channel 10 on the receiver let me bring that up a little closer and see if I can actually show you. Uh, obviously, channel 10 is just next to that one. Our UBEC has a po positive and a negative. Now, positive is center and negative is at the bottom or ground, whichever way you want to call it. And um, yeah, it just plugs in there. Now, this could actually be plugged into any one of these channels because the rail system center is positive and the bottom is ground or negative and it's a rail system so it doesn't matter into which one you plug it right <clears throat> so that's plugged in and i just want to see where and how i am going to fix down i'm going to use a cable tie pull through Either way, it doesn't matter how you decide, just get it tied down. The next thing I want to do is mount our GPS and compass module. And uh, this is an all-in-one um, compass and GPS module. And from looking around, I've got one of these little uh, GPS stalks, antennas, mounts, whatever you want to call this thing. Now from looking around, I have decided that the best place for me to mount this is about there. I like that. It's out of the way. Um, mounting at any of the, of the other places is going to interfere with something else. So um, I don't want to mount it there. I was considering mounting at its back, but unfortunately the cable's a little short. So if you have one with a <laughs> a longer cable then perhaps you can even mount it at the back but I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna mark my spots there and I'm gonna drill three millimeter holes because I already have screws for the three millimeter and I am going to place it down there I've drilled four holes into which I am going to be mounting my GPS antenna holder and uh, they should match up pretty well. There we go. Right. I will be using some spare three millimeter screws I have here. There we go. That's one. Okay. Now. I now have the GPS uh, mount antenna stalk um, set and uh, the next thing is just to get it plugged in and uh, we must bear in mind or remember that that is our front facing direction. I just want to clean off that a little bit. Some electro spray just to remove any oils or anything that might be there that's going to interrupt with the stickiness of our mounting or GPS unit. Okay, in the packet we also received a double sided patch which I believe might be good enough. It looks pretty decent. So I'm going to be sticking that first onto the antenna mount or whatever you want to call the stalk. Um, I just want to clean off the bottom of the GPS as well so that it's completely free of any contaminants. 
Okay, get that fairly center pretty well. Remove the sticky part, center it. Okay, now next we're going to stick it into our GPS and the compass. It's just a little too tight. So yes, GPS goes in there, facing forward. Now, most people say that it needs to be plugged in here. Some people say it needs to be plugged in there. Now, in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in here first. If it doesn't work there, I may switch around the two the, the cables or plug it in there and test it. But yes, normally it works fine when plugged in here at the bottom. That is our GPS mount. Now, should I wish to transport it, I can loosen that, pull that up, drop that flat and it is out of the way for transport purposes. Let's mount it upright. Here we go. That is how we are going to mount it. Right. And on to 